Cora Dallas Yan Hu So. Please forgive me if I mispronounce it. I mean no disrespect, but however, this one herb that's traditionally used in Chinese medicine has an incredible impact on low to moderate chronic pain, at least in animal studies. And the real kicker to this is you don't develop a tolerance to it if these studies translate in the human trials. UC Irvine did some wonderful research, kind of like an East meets West in regard to medicine. But let's get right into the research. Research title publicly is known as Corridalis Yan Hu So, extract for use as an adjunct medicine for low to moderate chronic pain, published in September 2016. The results were as follows. They indicate, often will be known in this research as Yan Hu So. So if you hear me say Yan Hu So, I'm actually saying Corridalis. It effectively attenuates acute inflammatory and neuropathic pain without causing tolerance. That's the study words, not mine. But let's get right into the study parameters so you can see exactly how exciting this research actually is. Study parameters are as follows. Citation, the anti susceptive properties of Corridalis Yan Hu So extract. Study parameters are published public in full HTML so you can definitely delve into the research on your own. Funding, lots of people. Study participants, in vivo animal. Time was about seven days. Dosages, 100 milligram, 200 milligram, 250 milligram, 500 milligram per kilogram. It was done to a body cavity injection. Now keep in mind, traditionally, Corydalis or Yan Hu So is taken orally. So keep that in mind. Source, now look at how uh, much detail goes into the source. It actually goes into the preparation. They wanted to make sure that Corydalis Yan Hu So was prepared in the exact same way that traditional Chinese medicine does it so they can get uh, results that can be replicated. Results, and this is to repeat what I kind of said before, the more, like a little bit more of elaboration, most notably can reduce chronic neuropathic pain which is poorly treated with common medicines. They also show that Yan Hu So seems to not lose its potency over time, meaning you don't build a tolerance. All right, let's go into a little further as follows. Check out this chart. Now you see the green line there, that's your morphine. Now look also how morphine starts out really strong. This was done what's called a tail flick test, meaning the mice or the, the, the tail of the mouse is put in an area where they feel some discomfort. The longer they hold the tail there, the more the tolerance the pain. The second the tail flicks or, or should say moves out of the way, that's usually an indicator that their tolerance to pain has been exhausted. So look at it, the morphine, incredible. Basically the tail just sits there. All right, however though, as time goes on, the Corydalis Yan Hu So begins to become more effective even than the morphine. The morphine does a wonderful job at stopping the pain immediately, but does a lousy job at keeping the pain at bay. Now, even though Corydalis did not start out as strong, it's slow and steady. So, let's go into the next chart, just to give you an idea. So now you know that the fact that the Corydalis works well to low to moderate chronic pain, but now check this out. When you compare the tolerance built to morphine, compare it to Corydalis. See the second chart. It says the morphine painkiller be ability begins to drop below effectiveness, even if one of the lowest dosages of Yan Hu So which leads to the compelling possibilities of maybe using morphine as a pain stop, meaning the doctor immediately gives you morphine to stop the pain, but however though, after a certain period of time when morphine's tolerance begins to drop below the effectiveness of the Corydalis Yan Hu So, they start basically slowly feeding that medication into the patient's treatment uh, paradigm. So, which is really cool. To conclude, now keep in mind, medical professional, always deal with your medical professional, and also too, the form that they use of the Corydalis Yan Hu So is specially prepared. But to conclude, since Yan Hu So is a dietary supplement, this is their words from the research, uh, commercially available in the United States, Savelli, which is the lead researcher, suggests that it might be an adjunct medicine for alternative pain treatment. Again, work with the medical professional. Yan Hu So is not a highly potent medicine when compared to morphine, he said, but I would propose, he, which I'm quoting, that it can be used for low to moderate chronic pain. By the way, UC Irvine did a wonderful little video in regard to Corydalis John Hosseau, 
in how it may work with pain management back from 2014, which I like for you to follow through if you want to research a little bit more. Again, wonderfully promising animal study to start may work just as well in humans. According to traditional Chinese medicine, though, it does. But however, though, like we'd like to do everything clinically out here through phase one, two, three trials, we can't yet say it here in the United States. So please always operate with caution in regard to doing anything new. This is Ralph Turgiano signing off, and I look forward to seeing you all once again next week. Catch you then.